Hi guys, my name is Lisandro and the joke of the day is what are pirates' favorite letter? R. <laughs> Happy Wednesday, guys. Good to see you, see you again or be with you again, I should say. You have just finished all the books of the major prophets. They were so interesting, weren't they? First there was Isaiah, then there was Jeremiah, then there was the teeny tiny Lamentations, then Ezekiel, and then Daniel. So if you have your colored Bibles, let's take a look at these together. Now I remember that when you did Isaiah, you made bookmarks. I think I saw Lexi's, she had her Bible all with great big bookmarks, didn't you? And Aaron's beautiful bookmarks you had in every single book. These major prophets were read. We learned about how they really were guys that really listened for God's word. And, and then they wrote the words down. So that's the major prophets. Let's say them together again. Okay, first there was Isaiah. Then there was Jeremiah. Then the teeny tiny book that Jeremiah wrote, Lamentations. Then Ezekiel. And then Daniel. Let's take a little bit, minute to think about what we did in each book. When we learned about Isaiah, we learned about the peace of God, that Jesus is the Prince of Peace. Do you remember that? Let's take a look here. So now you've got Isaiah in front of you, and we learned about the Prince of Peace. I think you remember, we learned about peace robbers. That some days we woke up and we were full of peace and we loved God. And then we had a nice breakfast with our family. And pretty soon we had a little argument or we watched something on TV. Or pretty soon our peace was interrupted and maybe even gone. And Isaiah talked about that Jesus is the Prince of Peace and he brings us peace. And he is with us no matter what and gives us peace. Then the next book we went to. Take a look where your bookmark is. Jeremiah and Lamentations together. I think you remember Angie teaching this. It was so good. And all the things that she had on the table. Remember she had the little picture of the church. Oh, we might still have it here. We do, just a second. She had, she had this little picture of the vineyard church. And then she had Lego people, and she had a little scroll about the prophets. That was all about Jeremiah and Lamentations. And Jeremiah was the prophet with the broken heart. He's known as the crying, the weeping prophet, right? He had a broken heart because people just weren't listening to what God was talking about. So that was Jeremiah and Lamentations. Then let's take a look at Ezekiel. Let's find that one next. Starts with a big E. Ezekiel. Oh, what did we learn about in Ezekiel? I think I remember. It was about getting stuck. Remember how we had Pastor Mark and his kids? They put stickers all over him and he was stuck in doing selfish things and just looking after what he wanted to do and he got more and more stuck and then he had to have people help him. Yeah, that was Ezekiel. And then we, we talked about how sometimes God uses us to get people unstuck. So that's that book, Ezekiel. So this, every time we're finished a book, we could do a little, you could do a little pause on the video and you could make sure that you've got your markers in there and the, or your bookmarks in there. Then the last book of the blue major prophets is Daniel. It looks like such a little skinny book when you hold it up, but it has a huge number of stories. Do you remember some of the stories we learned about in there? Every one of these books has great stories, but I think we really remember the one about Daniel and the lion's den, don't we? And I bet some of you have a little lion bookmark in there too. Today's lesson is quite short because I want you guys to review a little bit with each other and with your mom and dad 
a little bit about easily finding the books. Like what you could do is you could close up your Bible and then you could say, okay, the first one to find Jeremiah is the one that gets to have their lunch first or gets to have a cookie or you could have some kind of a little contest at home, okay? So that's what review is all about. And try to talk to, you, to each other, to your mom and dad about some of the things that you learned in each one of these books. So the craft that you have today to go with this lesson is a big craft and you can do a little bit of it today and you can do a little bit of it um, every week if you want or every day a little bit of it and it's coloring pages that I have sent to your parents and it's the entire alphabet with Bible stuff with it okay so the first one is the big letter I won't show you too many but the first one is the big letter A which stands for Almighty God so you can color that one today if you want to. And then there's great pictures for each one. The big letter number C for Christ. Let's just look at one more. Oh, the big letter N for new life. So I'm going to send all of these, write the entire alphabet to your parents. And what you can do is do the first half of the coloring book for this, for the at the end of the major prophets, and then at the end of the minor prophets, the pink books, you can do the rest of them. So you'll have your whole coloring book, ABC's coloring book of the Bible done, right? Let's just say a prayer together before you go. Okay, let's put our hands on our Bible. That's always a good thing to do. Put our hands on the Bible as we thank God for his word. Mm, let's do eyes open, hands on your Bible. Thank you, Jesus, so much for your word. Thank you for all these stories that we learned and that the kids know all about the blue books in their Bibles, that they know all about the major prophets. Thank you, God, for the stories that are written down for us to learn stuff for today. Now put your hands, turn them up like this. And Jesus, we just give you our lives today. and We want to be listening to your voice, just like the prophets were listening and writing things down. That's how we want to listen to your voice today, too. In Jesus' name, amen. Good to be with you, and we'll see you again next week. Bye-bye.